What's up with y'all boys? Your boy K Von H44 and I'm back at it again with another video. And today we got the video about why young boy was just arrested, man. And when I first saw that he was arrested, I, I kinda already knew he was cooked, bro. Your own house arrest. He'd been posting dumb shit, like picturing him with drugs, like laying on the ground, all them Xanaxes. And with a couple of lean, I think everybody know that picture I'm talking about. But without further ado, let's get into this video and see what's really going on. And I appreciate everybody for clicking on this video. Just doing that, you helping me out. And let's get it. This new recent arrest proves that NBA Youngboy is the stupidest criminal in hip hop history. And I don't even yep. think that's hyperbole because there's not a distant second. Before his latest arrest on 63 charges this morning, NBA Youngboy was already on house 63 charges. An incident that took place at a video shoot in Baton Rouge. Youngboy was filming a music video outside of a residence in Baton Rouge. He brought the whole city out, right? It was dozens of delinquents outside. Now, apparently, they had sticks, they had guns, they had switches, they had glocks. They were out there fully armed and loaded, and a nosy neighbor called the police and was like, bruh, like, you have a bunch of delinquents out here, bruh, with, like, the biggest guns I've ever seen. They essentially said, get out here, because these are not the type of people I expect to have the legal authority to have weapons like these. It's not racism, people, if the observation is correct. That particular call from a concerned citizens led to multiple arrests, including the arrest of Boy. The drama surrounding Baton Rouge native rapper NBA Youngboy continues. The rapper was arrested around 4.30 Tuesday morning on multiple drug charges. There is a lot of drama surrounding uh, him and uh, the guys that uh, he associate with. Uh, we believe that some of those guys have been involved in criminal activity here in Baton Rouge. The rapper was one of 16 arrested at the scene. Three of them, I believe, were convicted felons. So they, uh, if they didn't have weapons in their possession, they were around weapons. According to BRPD, they all attempted to run upon their arrival. NBA Youngboy is one of those dudes who continues to get a break in the legal system. I can't Hello. call it. I don't know if he just got a praying grandmama, bro, but this man is lucky as hell. Because when he first blew up as a rapper, he got arrested on multiple counts of attempted murder, and he only got a suspended sentence for that and never seen a jail cell. All right now, in terms of this recent arrest, well, when they pulled up, they didn't find any guns on NBA Youngboy himself, and 16 other people got arrested, and apparently those people were loyal to Youngboy because they were all claiming the guns and saying, nah, yo, it's our guns. You feel me? Youngboy wasn't holding a gun. It's our guns. But what took place is the police pulled up, and they were in their legal right to search people in their persons and the vehicles they were in. However, they didn't have a legal right to search the camera that the videographer was filming the music video with. But they did, right? Without a search warrant, they went into the That's camera crazy. and they seen NBA Youngboy holding the guns, you know, and filming the video with possession of the weapons. The photo and video evidence on the SD card was what they used to primarily charge NBA Youngboy with weapon possession. And that was all the physical illegal, evidence though. they had. So when they went to court, NBA Youngboy's team was successfully able to petition a judge to make the photo and video evidence found in an SD card inadmissible. And the judge would actually say the suppression of the SD card media is appropriate because the warrant was invalid on its face and the warrant is not saved by the good faith exception to the exclusionary rule. The warrant is also rendered invalid after the fact because Captain Barnett recklessly included material misleading information within it. The judge even shut the cops down when they tried to get slick. They said, Your Honor, we admit, okay, you know, we may have prematurely viewed the SD card, but we got a warrant after the fact, and that gives us legal right to view what's on the SD card. The judge said, No, 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 right? It, not today, sir, all right? You obtained that warrant, right, under misleading information, so it was inadmissible, right? That was all the physical evidence the prosecutors had, other than the eyewitnesses, who all, by the way, were telling the prosecutors, these are our guns, it's not NBA Youngboy guns. So they had absolutely no evidence. So it was only a matter of time until the charges got dismissed, but we're dealing with the corrupt justice system and they know that all they had to do was just keep NBA Youngboy on house arrest long enough until he commits another crime. So they began to prolong the process, told the judge, yo, we need more time to do this, 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 and this, and they just stalled it out. 
kept NBA Youngboy on house arrest for about three years. And their strategy worked perfectly almost to a T when it came to NBA Youngboy. NBA Youngboy's mental health was admittedly being affected by house arrest. NBA Youngboy began to lash out, right? He got in several fields online where he would threaten to unalive his ops, right? But, you know, his public fields were the least of his worries because he began to do certain concerning things, such as posting up, like, with pictures like these on his Instagram. It's the picture I was talking about, bro. You on house arrest. Instagram page publicly, by the way, while on house arrest, right? Pretty much admitting to heavy drug use. But here's the kicker. He thought the feds were one of his employees, right? Because when the feds started to see his concerning behaviors, like posting pictures with pills online, like showing up to multiple interviews high as hell, right? And rolling into rehab on multiple occasions. When his supervising officer for his release, right, when they confronted NBA Youngboy about doing drugs, NBA Youngboy was honest and told them that he had no intentions of stopping. All right, listen, they describe NBA Youngboy behavior as non-compliant while he awaits a July trial on federal gun charges. All rappers are egomaniacs, bro. They think the world revolves around them. So this nincompoop thought the feds <laughs> will be hest to him. Like, he thought the fans would, like, grovel and crawl and say, no, NBA Youngboy, stop doing drugs. No, please, no. Right, but he thought he was running a program. He thought they were asking. He thought it was a request for him to stop doing drugs. Right, so what happened was the feds eventually came and picked that ass up this morning. Hey, Brian Schnee, KUTB2 News. NBA young boy known as Kentrell Golden, who's been under house arrest here in Utah in Weber County, pending federal trial. He was actually arrested here in Utah by the Cash County Sheriff's Office yesterday, suspected of running a large-scale prescription fraud ring. He's been charged with 63 counts, among them a slew of felony charges. The prescription of choice here, promethazine with codeine. It's a cough syrup described as a heavily abused Schedule Five controlled substance. Police have been investigating this Dating back to September of 2023, someone would call in a prescription, call it in under a fake name or a physician who didn't authorize it. They would try to go pick it up then. At one point, one of the people working for Young Boy actually drove to pick up a prescription in his Chevy Tahoe that you can see in some of the music videos. He denied involvement in the ring when he was arrested and law enforcement searched his home. They found prescriptions matching some of those fake names. He's in jail without bail. NBA Youngboy is what we will call a crackhead. Now, if you got millions of dollars in a multi-million dollar career and you're willing to throw that away for a latest fix, use a crackhead and you can't control yourself, right? But it will be the lengths that NBA Youngboy went through to get his hands on some codeine. But here's the thing, right? Like, it's a lot deeper than you think. It, like, yo, this was a structured criminal organization, an enterprise, a drug ring that was instituted to bring back drugs for NBA Youngboy. I'm talking about identity frauds of somebody dead, all right? Fake calls, fake prescriptions, fake doctors. Yo, they were running a criminal organization, bruh. Check out how deep this goes. And they actually called law enforcement in this, in, in this instance, the pharmacy did, and provided information after they took similar steps. And they, decide, they described that Gwendolyn sounded as though they were a much younger person disguising their voice to sound much older. That is also what happened when Gwendolyn Cox called police back, claiming to be that person, disguising their voice. All part of this large prescription drug fraud ring. The only thing disappointing or shocking about this, Brett, is that NBA Youngboy was really trying to cut corners in his drug-filled criminal enterprise, Brett. You mean to tell me, man, you couldn't at least pay somebody who was actually elderly to call, right? You have one of your homegirls who's like 19 years old trying to act like she's 65. Like, be for real, bro. Not to interview, interfere, rather, with Kentrell's music business. However, he refused to give any passcodes for the devices. Quote, he answered, take it and break it when I asked him for passcodes for the devices at his residence in Weber County, taken to the Cache County Jail. While there, there were other people at the home. They had a search warrant that was signed days prior. They went in and searched the property. I'm gonna read this verbatim to you. During the search of the residence, law enforcement found a prescription bottle in Kentrell Golden's bathroom inside of the master bedroom, identifying as his. The prescription bottle was for Carolyn White. 
Notice the last name. We told you about Bethel White being the person they called in that first prescription to, which is one of the known fraudulent names with a corresponding prescribing doctor who had confirmed the fraud. Um, also noted, they found a handgun there that Golden had admitted to possessing in the master bedroom just days prior. Um, he was already obviously on a house arrest for a federal trial, so that's a big no-no in this situation. This NBA Youngboy situation is a catch-22 because on one hand, it's sort of a nasty feeling knowing that the justice system could hold your life hostage for three plus years on charges they know they have no business charging you with, hoping you commit a crime so they can now pick you up on those charges and then completely forget about the current charges they have you on, right? It's a nasty feeling knowing they, they can get away with it. But then on the other hand, NBA Youngboy being such a fiend, a pill popping crackhead, a lean drinker. Are you hippie, doing too much? Right, that he goes ahead Damn. and throws his life away. He throws away a life with multi millions of dollars. He right though. A multi million dollar rap career. Uh, like over like like six or seven, eight kids already, right? So he's throwing all that away, the opportunity of being in his eight kids' life and having a multi million dollar rap career because he wants a fix of the next high. To me, that's just inexcusable, right? And to do all of this knowing you were this close to absolute and complete freedom, to me, is just crazy, right? Like, you know the feds is on you. Bro. Like, bro, you know the feds is watching your every move, and you try to pull this off under the federal supervision? Man, listen, yo, bro, you deserve it, man. Y'all let me know in the comment section, what do you guys think about this, right? Again, I do. Appreciate y'all for tuning into this video. This is a crazy situation. Let me know how y'all feel about this in the comments. I feel like he cooked. Like Flacco said, he already said so much. He already been watched by the feds. You are the firearm in the master bedroom just told it all, bro. But I appreciate everybody for tuning into this video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button if you like this video. And I'm out.